This is Village Carpentry, and I'm, my name is Shelby Holland, and we're going to be doing a fire test experiment on a block of hempcrete, which is a mixture of hemp herd and lime and water, and it's been curing for three and a half weeks. And uh, here's Kieran to tell you what he's going to do to it. Uh, so uh, I use a lot of this equipment for blowing glass, but the other cool thing about it is you can use it to light things on fire. And then move our way up to something larger. Part of what we're trying to see is whether once the flame is applied to the hemp tree block, it will continue to burn or not. That was uh, that was 2,000 degrees. About 2,000 degrees of uh, direct heat from the flame, and it's already out. And it yeah already went out. It uh, got red hot for a little bit. On the bigger flame, we've got it. So uh, the last torch we used went to about 2,000 degrees. Uh, this one goes to uh, above about 5,000 degrees, and it has a bunch of ranges of different types of flame it can produce. So. We're going to start with more of a soft flame and work our way up from there. What's the mixture on the torch? So the torch uses a combination of propane and oxygen. On the torch I have six knobs that allow me to change the amount of oxygen that is flowing through the torch as well as the amount of propane that's flowing through the torch. The more yellow the flame is, the more propane there is. There's also a third set of knobs in the middle that allow me to change the velocity of the oxygen, which changes the skew of the flame. Right now I've changed from a flame that was at about a thousand degrees to a two thousand degree flame. I'm going to go to a larger floor flame. This one's probably closer to like 2500. Uh, in its center, and near its further extremities, more like 1,500. Now we're going to go to a 5,000 degree flame. Yeah, well, that, uh, whew. We got one, I saw one lick of flame come off of that after you moved the torch away. Huh. Just that's probably right on the edge. That's probably while it was getting uh, enriched with excess uh, oxygen from the torch. And so the amazing thing is, there's, it's still cold to the touch. Yeah, we can still hold this, um, Ordinarily, if you held that kind of heat on a, a block of glass, it would have melted sub <laughs> substantially. Um, even the parts up the above surface parts are still, are still cool, uh, so the heat transfer is almost nothing. <laughs> wow. We realized that after torching it, it's um, not even hot to the touch. So we spent about two minutes hitting it at over 2,000 degrees, and uh, we're curious to see 
what will happen if we pour water on it um, after hitting it with the torch? Because last time it didn't even make steam. I'm just trying to put as much heat into the block as I can. Get, get all the orange off there and water just soaking right in. A little bit of steam, but really a little bit. The heat dispersion is ridiculous. Yeah. I'm cutting the block in half because we want to see how deep into the block we are able to get the torch to burn it. <laughs> and it's tough stuff, so. Well, it, it dries about as hard as a rock, so. Yeah. But yet, at the same time, it's cuttable with a handsaw. I think, oh, oh that'll give you what you need. <laughs> no, right, even... there's, there's no, there's no layer of wow. anything below that point. If you build something out of this and it were to light on fire, I mean, I mean to be in the sun. <laughs> yeah. Right, you can see like there's a little bit of char right below, right at the surface there, but that's it. Well, obviously it's wet because I poured water on it. But yeah. Wild. You can see where the surface, um, the lime actually melted into a glass. Yeah. You can focus on that. That is wild. Mm. 